So some people may think that this topic for this video is a pretty stupid topic, and I can see why they think that. Oh look, some kid's talking about why he thinks Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon for the 3DS is a depressing game. Ooh, dislike. And it's fine to think that, but it's there's more to it's the this video than just that, because... The reason I'm making this video is because I have a personal connection with the actual Pokemon on the 3DS that I wanted to talk about because it actually did make me feel kind of sad when I thought about it. And that connection is that Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is going to be the last Pokemon game on the Nintendo 3DS. And this has this is not new news. This was announced I don't know when, but this was at least announced months ago. And nobody really cares. Well, nobody really cares too much about it today, I don't think. But when it came out, a lot. Some people, I didn't really care for it back then because I didn't really think about it. But some people thought that this is bad, and I can see why I think that, and that's why I'm making this video. And basically, now the more I thought about it, I realized that I've had a lot of memories with the Nintendo 3DS, and. The fact that Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is the last 3DS Pokemon game is pretty sad because it's just it just tells you that a part of those memories are about to die. And l let me just go over some I guess some of my background knowledge of Pokemon the 3DS. I never played a Pokemon 3DS game like a full-fledged Pokemon 3DS game except for Pokemon Moon. That was the game that I got when, not when it came out, but I pre-ordered it, and it was like a month late, and it arrived right before Christmas, so I got it for Christmas, and it was phenomenal. I really love that game, and uh, it was, it really showed me that, wow, I did not know that Pokemon 3DS games could be this good. Now, that's my opinion. You could have a different opinion. That's fine. But it really showed me the potential of the Nintendo 3DS, and it got me excited for the future of the Nintendo 3DS and Pokemon itself. And at that point, I started to think more w about, hang on, so what else, what else can they do for the next Pokemon? And uh, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that eventually making Pokemon games for the 3DS is going to die. Now, it may seem like a leap to go from, oh, what are the, what's the next one going to be? But... That's what I thought, because it reminded me that Nintendo is still making new, full-fledged, flagship Pokemon games for this, I think, six-year-old piece of hardware. I don't know its exact uh, when the 3DS originally launched. And those thoughts just really got me thinking about the future of the 3DS. And the more I thought about the future of the 3DS, the more it's just sunk into me that the 3DS is dying, and it's dying quick, because... At that point, the Nintendo Switch was already announced, and it was... It, I didn't really think too much about the future of the 3DS when the Switch was announced, but the, when, uh, the more I played through Pokemon, Sun, uh, Pokemon Moon, because I didn't get Sun, and the more that I started to think about those other thoughts that I mentioned previously, the more I realized that, wow, Pokemon, Pokemon on the 3DS is dying, and it's dying quick which is a sad thought because I was really excited for the future of the Nintendo 3DS and the, f the future of Pokemon games in general and Pokemon games on the 3DS. But I kind of picked the worst time to think that because that was when Pokemon Moon came out and now Pokemon Moon is the second last game for the 3DS or po second last Pokemon game for the 3DS. And... There's also another thing I want to talk about, which, I don't know, it's hard to describe because when I talk about it and I think about it in my head, it sounds kind of stupid, and basically that thought is that Pokemon has this weird feeling on the 3DS, like, an unmatched, you know, game consoles, whether, whether, which game console it is, it doesn't really matter, each one has a different feeling depending on your memories with it, but each game console, every time you play it, you're gonna just think of those memories, and it's got a, each game console has its own special feeling, and you'll remember that feeling every time you play a game on that game console, or you turn it on, or whatever. And the 3DS has that for sure, and 
Pokemon, especially Pokemon Moon, really r enhance that feeling. So it's kind of sad to th know that Pokemon is dying quick on the 3DS because I had big expectations and sadly those expectations are probably not going to be met because Pokemon on the 3DS is not happening anymore because Pokemon Sun, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is the last Pokemon 3DS game. So that was just a, how long is this, a uh, seven minute ramble I guess? Of, um, I have no idea how long this video is going to be once I edit it. Of me talking about this topic. I, don't, I have no idea how what you guys are going to think of this. If you think it's, um, if you like this kind of ramble session, let me know. I'm, I, most of my content is script. It's, most of my content is just scripted. So that's why I, I'm not that great at doing just straight up talking without a script because that's what I usually relate to. That's what I've been doing for the past 10 months. So please leave your thoughts on this topic in the comments. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, then please share it on social media. And I'll have links to my social medias in the description. And see you.